All right, guys, welcome to episode 142 of Dope Talk TV. Is yours truly low key? Got John here with me, and we're back with another one. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, hit the like button, share it with a friend, go down in the description, get yourself some merch, and listen, man. Just tell somebody you fucking love them. Yeah, all right. Bro, just tell fuck? somebody you fucking love them. We're back with another one. We love you. It's a beautiful Thursday. Happy Thanksgiving. All that good shit. I hope everybody eating good, smoking good, feeling good, spending time with family. You know what I'm saying? And appreciating each other because every day ain't promise. You know what I'm saying? Tomorrow every, ain't promise. Every day ain't fucking promise, man. Yeah, man. Fucking, I hope everybody eating good, smoking good. Fact. It's kind of chilly. You know what I mean? A little bit chilly out. You know what I'm saying? You know? Take a little sip. Yeah, take a little sip. Cheers for those of y'all that, are, you know, pop the brew with us. Yeah. If y'all want to start seeing us smoking and smoke with us, man, we're going to be doing that over on Patreon, all right? Yeah, man. So y'all go over there and fuck with us. We're going to be brainstorming and coming up with some shit soon. If y'all have any ideas, y'all go down in the comments and let us know. But uh, but yeah, man, uh, starting off this podcast, bro, I want to talk about something pretty serious, bro. It fucking pisses me off every year. What happened? Grants my guess. What happened? Thanksgiving pitches. I'm uh, tired of it. Nah. Every fucking yeah. year, yeah. you have the fucking 25 people one. eating the same it's, shit, it's the same and then you people. have the one nigga thinking he's different because he did fucking tacos, all right? It's, it's the, like, bro, it's fucking Thanksgiving, all right? We all fucking ate the same shit, and if we didn't, who gives a fuck, all right? It's the same fucking people same every thing. fucking year. Sometimes oh, so it's, it's not, though. Shit. Yeah, but it's like, bro, who gives a fuck? I've never understood that. Taking pictures of your plates and shit. Like, I've done it, but it's like, come on, bro. Nah. Like, after a while, it's just like, my nigga, nobody cares about what the fuck you eating. Nah. Let's be real. I mean, I do it sometimes. I'm not going to lie. Not just on Thanksgiving, but if I'm about to eat something real fucking nice and it looks good, I'm about to post this shit. Cause yeah, this shit I've done nice. it. I've done it. I've done it recently. But yeah. it's like every year posting the same thing. Fucking food for Thanksgiving It just It grinds my gears That's all I'm saying I don't know It's not different But if you don't have your coquito I don't know what to man, tell you I don't know either. what to tell you Yeah man I'm gonna have to hit my sister She makes some flavors bro She makes different flavors Eggnog I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get some I'm gonna get some good coquito this year bro Real talk On my whiteies talk Drink But listen up. man Talking about Thanksgiving You think that Thanksgiving Is the second 420 I think Thanksgiving is the second 420. Yeah, all your cousins be smoking and shit. Everybody yeah, fucking, everybody's yeah. lit on Thanksgiving. And you don't like, even smoke with your cousin all fucking year. But nobody, you, can, yeah, yeah, yeah. nobody wants except, to smoke with you. It, yeah, except for that day, you know but what that I mean? day is like, you know what, I'm going to give thanks. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to smoke with everybody. I swear, I'm always smoking people out, so they need to be smoking me out on Thanksgiving. Fuck. Bro, I hate that shit. I stopped smoking with niggas so long ago because of that. <laughs> I probably always come around I always smoke with everybody And nobody ever fucking smokes with me Back when they have some tree And then niggas started getting butt hurt When I pulled up And I was like bro Nobody's hitting this yeah, no. Damn for real No for fake Yes I'm. No, no, you're not hitting fake. my fucking blunt Nah facts Like You're not hitting my blunt bro Sorry like, Damn You had a plenty of them And never smoked me back out Damn Niggas love you So that one time you tell them no I know That's Recipe been a, adult Yeah bro Damn that's crazy man Nah I mean I don't know. It depends on the person. Like, if I know that you're just coming around because I fucking always smoke, then nah, I'm not going to burn you out, bro. Yeah, nah, facts. It's like, it's just people, everybody comes around for different intentions. Some people really just want you around and want your company and they enjoy your friendship. And then other people just think that they're taking advantage and finessing a situation. When it's like, bro, you're only finessing yourself out of a great fucking friend. Yeah. Because you think they're fucking stupid and they're not. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying So when they stop Fucking with you now You can't be like Yo bro What the fuck What's up Nigga you know what's up They don't have to explain You just want to hear it You want to hear What they caught you on But it's like Nigga you know why <laughs> You know what I'm saying Like straight the fuck up Yeah Straight the fuck up It be like that That's like I just don't hang around Those type of people anymore Yeah nah Fuck it bro You start, they start it. to fade out And shit You gotta start doing Bro everybody's on their own Journey on their own clock You know what I'm saying You gotta do your own thing bro you Love is I mean? love is the answer You yeah, know what I mean sounded Dry him off as fuck over there for a second. Bro. Yeah, bro, I've been drinking fucking Ronas Holy and shit. Fuck. Bro, and last night I had like a whole bag of Skittles. You know how they fuck up your mouth when you eat a whole bunch of candy? <laughs> you got one side that's like your sore as shit. shit. It feels like you sanded your whole fucking top of your roof <laughs> yeah, that's, or your mouth. <laughs> that's what I fucking had. Thanks, Jay. He fucking had a whole bag. Of, I swear he had like a gallon of fucking Skittles, bro. Yo, I swear a Jay pound. lives off of sugar. Like This nigga be having a whole... St- Dash, bro. Bro. Shout out to Jay, man. Matter of fact, round of applause to our boy Jay. Let Yo, the candy, bro. Man. I haven't had Skittles in a while, so I can't eat them. Skittles are shits. great. Yeah. I love Skittles. Were some of my favorite candies when I was growing up until niggas made it gay. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? Way, Straight bro. up. Then when it was like that taste of rainbow shit, now I gotta go eat a Snickers. Yeah. <laughs> a fucking Snickers or a fucking a Kit Kat. You know what I mean? Nah, I'm just kidding, bro. No, we just to, talking shout shit. Shout out to the gay community. Yeah. Don't fucking cancel us like yeah, Dave Chappelle. Don't, yeah, don't cancel us. We fucking love we you. Love man. Y'all, my cousin's for real. gay. My fucking, yeah. my fucking, I don't even know who else is gay. Bro, we all gay have people. gay family members, gay friends. Shout out to all of you. My y'all, dog bro. is gay. Damn, Remy is kind of gay. Yeah, he is. You could just tell, bro. He be getting hung yeah. by his dog and shit. <laughs> and his dog's a female, so I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I don't know what's going on over there, but yeah. they have a unique relationship for sure. Facts. I'll tell you that. But you know what's unique? Bobby Schmurda said that once he becomes a billionaire, yeah, he wants to be a porn star. He needs to start dropping music or Round something. of applause to fucking Bobby Schmurda, man. Yo, Bobby. This nigga came out of prison. He said, I'm trying to knock everything down no. on camera, bitch. Fuck is you talking I'm about? I'm trying to fucking not make music and just do dancing. That's what he be bro, doing. that nigga he be, be fucking moving them hips, boy. I'll tell you what. People are saying, yo, that's a little bit sus right man, there. Man, sus my ass. Them hoes like it. Them, yeah. he, he, them hoes like that yo, shit. Yo, he was moving them hips, boy. Bro, them hoes like that hip yeah, moving, yeah, bitch. Bro. You got me yo, fucked up. Niggas want to be standing all stiff against the wall I'm a, looking tough. And the nigga that's over there shaking his hip is the nigga yeah, that's taking two bitches yeah. home. I'm going to tell you what. Women like a good stroke game. You if better you have a good stroke. move your hips right. If you know how to hey, stroke. Bro. You need to, if you have that stroke game on point. You got to stroke and poke. You know what I'm saying? You stroke and poke. You could stroke anywhere you want. You could stroke all the way to the top, tippity top to (laughs) the fucking bottom. And don't look down. (laughs) (laughs) You know what I mean? But. Hey, nah, man. bro. Hey, listen. Shout Again, out J. Cole, bro. round of applause, Bobby Schmurda, bro. I really hope that you fucking make it on your endeavor to become a billionaire and a porn star. Yeah, I hope you, know you make it. I hope you make it. I hope you do, bro. Yeah, like, bro. Like, that that's be lit, nigga. I'm not gonna lie, you bro. Get, you get the fucking. I mean, look at Kim Kardashian. She made one porno and became just absolutely fucking <laughs> famous. So why can't Bobby Smurda just take out his she fucking slime? She made plenty porno. She just yeah. made the porno with the right nigga, bro. Yeah. That's what it was. Nah, but I mean, I, hopefully, fucking Bobby fucking just murders that pussy. Hey, bro. Bob, and gets I, all bro, in there. Honestly, bro. I think Bobby will shake the motherfucking hips in the motherfucker. Yeah, I swear to God, bro. Bobby <laughs> bitch, it's Bobby bitch. <laughs> Throw the hat, nigga, yeah. and hit, the, hit it with the fucking hip shake and catch the hat, nigga. Fuck out of Yo, here. they say that hat never came back. It's still up there. It's gone. Yeah, they say it's, it's still flying gone. in the universe. It's gonna He's come gonna back. He's gonna catch it in like twenty fifty two. Like Thor's, shit. like Thor's fucking hammer. Yeah, bro, she's gonna come back down with lightning and shit. Yeah. No cap, no nah, cap, for real, Bobby. Yeah, man. Shout respect, out to fucking respect. Bobby, bro. Respect to Bobby. But listen, man. Something I wanted to talk about, bro, was uh, I have some youngins around, man. I have some youngins. They look up to us, bro. And I had to have a conversation with my youngin where I was telling them the difference between drama and struggle. You know what I'm saying? Because he's a little bit more entitled. Like, he grew up a little bit different. And it's like, bro, like, you didn't have real struggle. You just had drama. <laughs> and there's yeah. a huge fucking difference Big time. between struggle and drama like some of us bro we grew up and it was like some days we didn't have certain things like this and that like you gotta wait whatever you yeah. might not be you you might only have one pair of shoes for the whole fucking school year yeah you know what i'm saying different things but it's like i feel like the younger generation really really confuses struggle and drama it's like bro just because you have drama around you know what I'm saying? It doesn't, doesn't mean, mean it's that struggle. it's struggle, bro. Yeah. Like, yeah, it might be a pain in the fucking dick tip, but it's not the same as going without food. It's not the same as, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, like it's not like. It's not the end of the world. Yeah, it's not <laughs> like you ain't got no fucking, you know, you ain't got no fucking clothes to wash or fucking. There's people with serious That's what I mean. problems. Like, That's what I mean. Like, struggle is different yeah. than drama, bro. Like, a lot of us just have drama in our lives. Like and we mom, take that for granted. Like, your mom asking you for gas money to make it work, but you, you're the one that don't got the job. Facts. Or, Facts. You, or you just got a job and you know, like, and you you just trying to make it yourself. It makes you think like, man, like you feel like shit over the years because your mom really tried her best. Yeah, nah. And it's not you know? nothing against them. It's just yeah. like, you just, bro, listen, man, it's just a difference, bro. There's a big difference, man. And I feel like every, like now with the Rod Wave and the Mo3 and everybody wants to be fucking coming from struggle. Everybody wants to have been through the struggle or come from nothing. And it's like, bro, a, a lot of niggas be capping. Yeah, be grateful that you didn't come yeah, from Yeah, it's like, be yeah. grateful that you lived in a good home, nigga. Yeah. And yeah, you might have had shit going on. Like, everybody has their shit in their own families yeah. going on. But, nigga, you didn't go without food. You didn't go without clothes. You didn't go without water. You didn't go without a bed. You didn't, like, for real. Like, there's a lot of shit that you didn't go without that helped you. You know what I'm saying? Like, other people did. You know yep. what I mean? So it's like, 
I just want to clear that up, bro, because it like. You know, like I said, it's my my young nigga, bro. He's younger and shit. And I, I was just like, bro, like, there's a difference, bro. You like, you didn't really struggle. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. No offense to you, but whatever you got going in your head, you need to realign it because there's a big difference. Yeah, like you didn't struggle, nigga, for real. Like you didn't have to be helping your parents out with bills at 15, 16 years old. You like, didn't. You were good. You know, so just be grateful, man, and stop stop over, you know, over like dramatizing your fucking, you know, your like. The struggles that we most people go through. Just some people just they they want that they like that drama too, and that's true. They like that's that true. drama. Like they they always have to have like some type of fucking like show, you know? Yeah. It's, like, it's like their life it's is like a, fucking a show. soap opera. Yeah, no, that ass. It's like they live in a soap opera. Yeah, and it's like bro. I mean, if that's how you want to live, bro, ain't nobody to judge you. Like, there's a but lot of like, things. There's a lot of things that I know and I, and 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 stuff that I know about people that it could start some big ass drama. That's a fact. That's a fact. But guess what? I mind, I mind my business, man. You have to mind your business because what is that going to do? Nothing. Nothing for you. Nothing good. That's a fact. You see what I'm saying? So, like, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of stuff that people know about me that could start some shit. Real shit. You see what I'm real saying? Shit. Like, that's just being real. Like, that's just what it is. I'm not going to do that. You know what I mean? I just don't like being involved in some type of, like, drama that could just be avoided. Yeah, like, exactly. You just, you just like... And nine, nothing, time, nine times out of ten, bro, that's how it goes. Like it's nothing positive at you all. You try to avoid the drama, like I promise you, bro, for real. Like this is no lie. Nine times out of ten, when it's some drama, when I'm involved in drama, I got drug into it, and it's somebody else's drama. Yeah, that I, where I'm just that loyal, where I'm like, all right, I'm drug into it now. It's my boy, so I'm gonna have his back. But it ain't my fucking issue. I didn't start it, or I had nothing to do with it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But it's like, like, bro, like just you know. Try to stay away from drama and try to better, you know what I'm saying? Try to better yourself. Yeah. And it's hard. It's easier said than done. It's like anything else. It's easier said than done, but it ain't impossible. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And then, you know, ultimately, that's a message I want y'all to take from here. All of y'all that listen, that actually listen, is like, bro, it's easier said than done, but it's not impossible. Period. And that's what anything in life. You know what I mean? So, yeah, bro. Yeah. Big time, bro. And there's another thing I want to say, too, man. Like... You know, I'm a nice dude, bro. You know what I mean? Like, I'm a nice guy. Like, I'm kind, bro. Like, it's very important to be kind. But a lot of people think, like, being kind is, like, you know, weak. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or they take That's it for fact. weakness. You That's know what fact. I mean? So, it's like, when I ever sw- when I switch from that good side to that, like, hey, don't fuck with me. And this is, you know, I'm yeah, a Yeah, now you're ground. the bad guy. Now I'm the bad guy. Yeah. I hate that shit, and bro. I don't, I don't like that shit. I it's hate like, that shit. We were talking about that shit earlier. It's, it's like, like, like. Yeah, you're taking advantage of my of, of, of my kindness. You know what I mean? Like, but the day that I'm like, nah, like, fuck that. You know, I'm the type of dude to just, you know, I'll, 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 I'll cross that line. You know what I mean? Not me. I won't cross that line. But if you cross that line, I'll, I'll let you, you know, I'll let it be known and be like, yo, like, that's that's not cool. Like, yeah, that's not nah, cool. That's I, don't, a, I, don't, I don't like that. Yeah, no, nah, facts. You got you to gotta nip shit in the butt real quick, bro. And and I, I agree, bro. It's like, like, bro, like, when it comes to me personally, bro, I'm one of the nicest motherfuckers you ever meet. You know what I'm saying? I'm a Leo. Like, and that, my heart is bigger than my body, bro. I'm the most loyal motherfucker you'll ever have on your side, bro. And I'll ride till the fucking wheels fall off. But it's like some people just can't, they can't, they can't take what they give. You know what I'm saying? Like once they have a taste of their own medicine, bro, now it's a fucking problem. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Like they disrespect you. They undermine you. They fucking don't care about what you got to say or anything like that. They just, when it comes to you, it doesn't fucking matter. But when it's about them, it better fucking matter or it's a fucking problem. Mm-hmm. And that's a fucking problem. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, what the fuck makes your life so much more important, your time so much more important, your shit so much more important than somebody else's? Yeah, nah. It's that's all the just same. ego. It's, all, it's, all, it's yeah. just ego, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, it's, it's okay to be confident, but once your ego starts getting in the way of your relationships, it's a problem. You know what I mean? And it's like... Like I'm, uh, I told you earlier, bro. Like I'm just at that age where I'm. I don't give a fuck, bro. Like it's just, it is what it is, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you want to be around, cool, be around. If you don't, fuck you. Yeah, and it's straight like that. It just sucks when you have like, you don't know. Like that's probably one of the struggles for a lot of people that make it in life too. That like are very successful. They have money. Is like, do you are you still around because of me? Like, are you around just because of like the stuff that benefits? You know, off me like you reap off the benefits. You know, right? Like, like it's hard, bro. That's a yeah, tough but situation. That shit, I feel like actions prove that. Yeah, I feel you always watch actions. I've talked about it a thousand <clears throat> times on here. Watch, watch people how they act. 
Watch people's actions. Fuck what they're saying. Watch them. Like, do they support you like you support them? Yeah. When it's time for your shit, are they just as excited for your shit as you are for their shit? Like, things like that. You got to peep and watch. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it's like when it's not re- reciprocated, when you're giving out love and you're giving out support and you're giving out this and it's, it's never returned, then fuck it. If you're the bad guy for, for not showing the love that's never returned to you, then it's cool. Be the bad guy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But ultimately, bro, like, you just, like, man, fuck what people say. People that care about you will show it with actions. They'll be there physically. They'll show, you know what I'm saying? They'll be there. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, that's just my advice to the younger people, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because I didn't understand that more when I was in my younger 20s, late teens. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody ain't for you. Everybody ain't your friend, bro. And you just got to watch actions above anything fucking else. Mm-hmm. Because the actions will speak speak way louder than words. You know yeah, what I mean? it's, it's crazy, man. Because, like, they may not be a bad person, bro. You know what I mean? Of but they're course ju- they're, not. They're just not ma- they're just not meant to be around you. Exactly And that's what people Need to understand Like it's just I'm not saying you're a bad I gotta cut you off You're a piece of shit Like I'm gonna let you know If you're a piece of shit Yeah no If you're a piece of shit I won't be around you at all Yeah exactly We wouldn't be friends And I don't have to do Too much talking to do that Yeah You know what I'm saying There's plenty of situations Where we've met people bro And I'm like I don't wanna fuck with this nigga Yeah no more one one meet and greet and that it's one and done. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So it's like, and you, it's your right to do that. You know what I'm saying to be like, bro, I don't want to fuck with this person. Yeah. Like, don't let, don't ever let nobody make you feel like, like, oh, you're flaw now or you changed up or whatever. You Maybe they changed up. up. You, Maybe they switched up. I mean, you know what I'm saying, yeah. Like we talked about this already. We have the right to to keep whoever the fuck we want in our fucking circle. If one day we wake up and we're like, nah, fuck this. I don't I don't I don't like this. I don't even want to be around you. You have the right. Facts. You don't that's have to fact. explain yourself. You don't you have people to need say to, shit. Yeah, exactly. That's one thing that people need to understand. If you don't want to do something, you don't need to explain yourself. That's a at fact. All. At all. You just say no. Oh, why? Why why don't you cause I don't want to. Facts. That's why. Facts. Yeah, bro. And that's something I had to learn personally. It's like cause I would always explain myself of why I do certain things. And I'm like, I don't need to. Yeah, I, just, I don't want to do it, and that's that. And that's that. That's all That's all needs to be said, and you got to respect that. Facts. That's just what it is, guys. Yeah, no, I completely agree, bro. I completely agree, but it's just part of maneuvering through life, bro. Getting older, you know, different ages come with different stages. And the older you get, you just start realizing certain shit, and, you, you know, you try to show love, and, like, it when it ain't returned, bro, just don't stick around. That's all I'm saying. You know yeah. what I'm saying when you show love and that shit ain't ever returned to you, don't even say nothing. Just okay, take mental notes. It is what it is. Now, watch you be the bad guy when you when you return the same energy, like we were just talking about. Yeah, it's like now when you you know what I'm saying when you do them like they do you. Now you're the bad guy. But that's just the way life goes, guys. And uh, you know what I'm saying. It's just the way life goes. At the end of the fucking day. Yeah, the fuck man. Up. Fucking. Uh I hope hopefully some people drop some more fucking music, man. I haven't really been, you know. Drake was all right, you know what I mean. I don't, I don't, ah, that's certified lover boy shit, bro. That, now that we've let's talk about it because now that yeah, we've yeah, sat with it for a little bit, those yeah, shits was trash. I don't yeah, give a compa- fuck what niggas say compared to the other ones. Yeah, it was trash, you know. And trash. It was trash. I ain't trash. gonna lie. I gave it the some only time. song I fuck with is uh, uh, Fair Trade. Yeah, and no Fair friend, trade, and no, no friends, friends in the industry. You know yeah, that. Yeah, 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 he slid on that. That was cool. There was there was a few songs, but compared to his older work, yeah, nah, it's not there. For and me. it's not like he changed his voice on a lot, you know, and his flow. His flow is still kind of he the didn't same. change nothing. Yeah. But I think that might be the problem. Where I feel like Drake is such a big artist that he's hit like kind of like a peak where it's like this is my sound. And y'all are looking for a new sound, and this is my sound. Like Eventually, I'm not fucking changing up. Like it took me in Kanye, 15 years to get to this sound. You know what I mean? Yeah, and Kanye is just like, I don't know. Like, yeah, I, I just don't. I Kanye just, is low key a genius, bro. Did you see that Nori fucking uh, yeah yeah drink champ? No, shit? he's a genius. Like I respect him a he's lot. He's smart. Yeah, he's smart, bro. But it's just like I just didn't. I just didn't feel the album like. Oh that. no, the yeah. album. Yeah, it's cool. It's just not it's my not type. Of, it's not my type of music. Yeah, it's not for me. It's like and it's cool. Yeah. Maybe we're just getting old, my nigga. Yeah. Uh, you ever thought of that, Joe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just Maybe like fucking Outkast. They asked him. They're like, "Why don't you still make music?" He's like, "Bro, because we're not in style anymore. Yeah. Once, you, once you're out of, you're not in bro. that. You're not hip anymore, bro. Like you're not." I don't even know. You're not even round cool. of applause to fucking you know what I'm saying outcast. Yo, you know what the craziest part is? A lot of niggas go out in shame because they can't learn that. 
Why do you think Outkast is held up to such a high standard? They're one of the best groups ever. Some of the best lyric, lyrics we've ever heard in hip hop come from them. And they retired. You got you to gotta know when to retire with class. Yeah. Too many people fucking be like, oh, I can still do this. And they're fucking almost 50. And it's like, nigga, there's just a select few. Like, if you look at the game. Bro, a select few niggas are in their 40s still making hot shit. Yeah. Maybe Jay-Z. Jay-Z is one of, like, it's just Jay-Z. So he's going to sell. Yeah, Jay-Z is going to sell that Two Chains, I ain't going to flex. I don't know if you heard that last album. Two Chains dropped. Two Chains is 44. But Two Chains be dropping heat. Yeah. There's a few niggas that drop heat. But for the most part, it's like, bro. Like, and St. John, too. Saint John. Oh, no, but St. John is, yeah. to me, bro, St. John is. Different, bro. Yeah, like, yeah, that nigga got sauce. Yeah, a lot like, of people didn't know who that was. Different. I didn't know who that was till like two years ago. I didn't know he was from New York. I thought that nigga was like, like from England somewhere. Yeah, he is from England. No, nah, he's from New York. I thought he had the UK accent. Nah, he doesn't. Nah, he's from New York. Damn, what? he's right there from New York, bro. Straight Damn. Up. But yeah, like it's just you got to know yourself, man. And ultimately, bro, like if if you know, like if you know what to go, then that's different. Can't nobody tell you shit. But it's like you usually know. Yeah. You, know you, you usually know where you could hear a song and you're just like, bro, it's not my time no more. I remember fucking uh, Eminem was getting, not Eminem, but uh, Gucci was getting interviewed on, a, on a, a radio show or something like that. He's like, hey, so what do you, uh, you think Eminem is a, is, a, is a rap god? You think he's like top, like he's like one of the best? And he's just like, man, like you listen to Eminem in your car? He's like, yeah, I do. He's like, watch you listen, with, you listen to Eminem in the car with your wife when you're driving around the city and shit and you're cooling. And he's just like, yeah, you know, well, nah, you know, more like Dolo and shit. He's like, well, I mean, man, nah, I, I don't listen to Eminem. And to be honest, we're <laughs> from Atlanta. The best hip hop's coming from Atlanta right now. Why would I say that? That's stupid. That's what he said. Yo, that, listen, yeah. man. At the end of the day, you got to change with the times and you got to understand what it is. Eminem is one of the greats. He's going to go down to history as one of the goats. Yeah. But times change. Times change, bro, and it's a young man's world. I've said that shit a thousand times, and at 30, 25, 30, 35, you're old to these niggas, bro. Yep. The niggas that are running the rap game, bro, poo shite and these niggas are young, man. The oldest niggas are like 24 out of their, you know what I'm saying? So it's like they're younger, bro, and it's like you got to just know when to hang that shit up, and you got to, it's okay. You had your time, and it was great. You were the great greatest at that time hanging on the wall yeah hang your jersey up with fucking pride don't keep don't hang it up with some mud and some blood on it kobe because knew you want to be retire. yeah kobe knew when to retire michael jordan paul pierce it's hard but vince, you gotta it know was, it was kind of hard for vince carter we you know he was like almost um, he was the oldest player in the nba vince is a different animal though vince yeah. can, vince man and vince he's from carter. florida bro yeah, he's vince from carter, around the corner bro. he's from our city yeah he went i went to you know to to uh trio with a lot of people i went to his high school you know what I'm saying? Like a lot of the people that were in Trio yeah. went to Maitland, bro. And they had like like he's real real known over there. He that, has his own restaurant in Daytona. Like it's good too. The food is fucking fire. Yeah. Damn, what? I need to go. I need to check that out. Good food. Really good food. Was it real like good Italian? seafood? Oh, seafood. Okay. Yeah, like they have they have a little bit of everything, but their seafood is fucking good. But yeah, man, like guys, at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? I'm a little litty, so I don't even remember what the fuck we were talking about. But look, man. Yeah, the restaurant, the Vince Carter restaurant. Go for your dreams. Vince Carter went for his dreams. You know what I'm saying? And he achieved them. He, he was the oldest player in the NBA. He's still chilling, making money. And he's bald. After, re after <laughs> <laughs> he's chilling after retirement. And you know what I'm saying? We could all do the same thing if we plan our future right and we put the work in. Yeah, you know man. Saying? Like you think I think he could have retired a long fucking time ago if he wanted yeah. to, but he just loved what he did, bro. So yo, just it's like it. Drake said in that one song. He's like, uh, most niggas retire. Most niggas would be content or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Most niggas would retire. We'll be and happy. Be yeah. 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 Like I wanna, I wanna bury these niggas twenty feet down. Twenty like, feet bro, deep. Yeah. He was talking this shit, but it's true. It's like, bro, most niggas, if you're up. Two, three hundred million at 32. You washed up. You're not even trying to fucking make like you're not even trying to be seen. Like no. you got so much money, you're just trying to live your life. Yeah. But when you have that passion, you have that drive, it's not even about the money. It's just about the action. Yeah, you, know you don't saying? care about nothing else. Straight the fuck up. 
But listen, man, we appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget to do just that. Be on the lookout for Patreon. It's coming soon. And once again, man, whatever ideas y'all have, whatever y'all want to see on Patreon, whether it's fucking wet t-shirt contests, whether it's fucking uh, dab fucking taking contests, whatever the fuck. It doesn't have to even have to be a contest. But whatever y'all want to see, let us know. All right? Peace and love. Peace and love. Peace and love. Happy Thanksgiving. You know what I'm saying? Smoke a fucking fat one. We out. Yes, sir.